Good thing the armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that. Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. Finally, we're free! The sun's high up already. Huh? Hey. Y yeah it was just so bright I got a little lightheaded. Well, I'm a bit frazzled myself from lack of sleep. Hmm? I'm sure my manor is being watched. Let's rest at the inn for now. We should dry our wet clothes as well or we'll catch a cold. Good idea. Here they are. Guess we caused yet another scene. Hooray for us. Well, at least we got rid of the malevolence. Incidentally, I suppose. But even so, I'm glad. It feels like now there's nothing we've left undone. You say that like it's your end. In a way, it is. I have decided I'm going to Marland. That's a plague town. You can't really mean to obey them. Whatever twisted motives the Chancellor may carry, the Order is official. And besides... It doesn't change the fact that Marland is suffering. I want to do everything I can for the people of Highland. Alicia. The council may laugh, but so be it. All right, then I'm going with you. You can't get involved. I've already caused you so many problems. But how do you plan on getting to Marland? The bridge is washed away. Well, I don't know. Four heads are better than one. And we have excellent foreheads. Besides, we need that bridge too, after all. Thank you. No need to thank us. Dinner last night was off the chain. All right, let's go check on the state of the bridge.
ready, everyone? Yeah! Be gone! No one has done any work on it? How could this be? Excuse me. outfit. You must be the shepherd? Yes, I'm Saray. I am Nath, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Saray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the water spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, it was nothing. Hey, Mr. Nath? Was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the water spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Serene. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the Shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind, and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, 
Then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a fairy captain to... But then that fairy captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Do you have a moment? Hey, I'd like to discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? Well, I want to assist with the reconstruction too. For Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility. Saray, I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Leave everything to me. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Is there a problem? Rayfolk Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the celestial record. Tell me, do you know the legend of the Eight Serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the Eight Dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the Underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning, but even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either.
certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. Is that a monolith? Take the heat, huh? Looks like Zavid here is gonna have to show you first timers how it's done! belong in hell. We could have safely quelled it. There was no need to kill it. Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. What? Why? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two-shoes, can't I? You knew I was the Shepherd? A self-righteous choir boy facing off against a Hellion. Who else would you be? The name's Zavid. Damn pleased to make your acquaintance, gentle Shepherd. How dare you! The Spirit Crest is way out of your league. If a dragon were even to yawn in your general direction, you'd be gone. We are not here to battle dragons. Your concern is noted. 
You're not? Well, that's no fun. Nothing adds spice to life like a sworn enemy. I take it you are here to fight the dragon, then? That had been the plan, yes. The plans, they change. You serious? <laughs> Looking pretty good, aren't I? Zavid, what is it you want? Do you really think I'd be willing to just drop the shepherd and his toadies into the dragon's lap so we can gobble them right up? If you're so eager to get eaten by the dragon to compound his power, it's better that you die by my hand! Here and now! Be gone! Don't shoot! Fight them all level up! Shepherd. Well, I got better things to do. Don't forget to run if you see a dragon. Is it really true that a dragon lives here? You got eyes, don't you, Saray? Why don't you try using them? What is that guy's problem? His power. It doesn't feel like purification at all. Almost more like it feeds on malevolence. can't respect someone like that. A Seraph who would just kill a Hellion. 
Yeah. It's sickening. Let's be off. We have our own agenda to fulfill. Right. Just a moment. I want to bury them. Saray. He feels responsible. Let's go, Miklia. Lila.